Hello everyone, this is a 2005 BMW X3 and it has the ATC 400 transfer case. Uh, it was making a lot of noise, the bearings were shot, the chain was stretched out now as you can see, barely any play in it. The chain was from um, American Powertrain Warehouse and I believe it was like 68 bucks, it was a great deal. Um, same as the ones that go for a hundred and some. Uh, also got all the new bearings put in. Um, there's four of them. Cobra Transmission has them for about a hundred, you know, with tax and shipping, it's 120 bucks. Well worth it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to put it back together and uh, the, the mistakes that I basically made. Um, the first thing you got to do is take all of the made a little thing here all of the screws around the outside it's not going to come across it's not going to come out by itself uh the adhesive the the rtv whatever's on there the gray stuff uh it's just over the the years it just sticks too hard so what you got to do is find a uh, puller pull against the outside of the case here against this and it'll pop it off that's how i got it off now I'll show you how to rebuild it in a second, but I'm gonna, I need to turn it off, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, what I just did is I took the shaft out of here, so it loosens up the chain, so you can take this off of this long shaft here, or as you want to call it, the input shaft. Now what you have to do is make sure that all these teeth here that are on these clutches are lined up so that this plate right here will go on top of it. Now, this is very important. There is a thrust washer, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this by myself. There's a thrust washer right here that rides on here. It needs to be on top of here, okay? So make sure that it doesn't fall apart. What you're gonna do is put this on here, and I will continue in a second when it's completed. Okay, so there you see that the drum is now all the way on, all the way to the bottom, just like that. So what you're gonna do is now put this drum into here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now because it needs to be lined up with this. And I will show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, for, forgot to mention that this is the oil pump. That drum is going to sit on there, and there's that little keyway right here that matches up with a keyway, I don't know if you can see it, right in the back. See? Okay. Like I said before, these need to fit right down inside these grooves, and they won't be able to fit down in there until this is properly engaged with the oil pump. Now listen. You'll hear the pump, you probably can't hear it in the video. You'll hear the pump and it spins freely. That's how you know that it's inside correctly. Now, like I said before, there's that bushing, the uh, thrust washer actually. Make sure that it's not off center because it has, it's gonna fit eventually on here. All right, I will now show how to take this and put it onto here. I was trying to put this onto here and it just wasn't working. The magnet was falling out. A lot of different things were going on, so I'll be back and quit talking. The chain off of here with this gear, make sure that the big side is going to be down, because usually it's up, so when you flip it over, it's down. Place it inside, it rides right on the bearing, and then you connect the chain. Once the chain is on, both of them, remember that rides on that bearing, in this, you can see all the way down through. Make sure that that thrust washer isn't off center. Now comes the hardest part. And I'll show you in a second. Now you're going to put this shaft into there. And then you're going to take this whole thing and put it on that way. And I'll show you how that works. Okay, as you can see, both shafts are now in. And it's just a matter of lifting it up and then getting it on top. 
Make sure that this end over here is either off the table a little bit so the shaft can all, go all the way through and it'll, it'll fit. It seems like it's going to be a little tight, but this will tighten up and it'll go right together. And I'll show you how that looks. Okay, just to let people know, I'm using like an anvil to hold it up straight and it's off the table so the shaft can go completely through. I'm going to put them together now. Okay, uh, here's the finished product. It's together. Like I said, you take it and you flip it over this way and you push it in. This one's going to go in a little bit and, and you can, to move the chain and to get the um, shafts to line up over here, you can just move this a little bit and then Sure as hell, it'll it'll just drop right in. This one will drop in a little bit last, but you can turn it and then boom, you can feel the chain tighten out and they both go into the slots. You know, I don't want to push it together right now because I need to get another bearing. Uh, I punched one in and I ended up ruining it because I'm an idiot. But there it is. So what you would do is you put the gray um, sealant before you do it. You smash it together. You put the screw in, don't uh, torque them down, but you leave it set for an hour, and then you torque them down.